we're going to be playing against the top tier teams of the CSL, which include a lot of semi pros and pro level players. So we'll see how that goes. That's that'll be interesting. And um, there's no stream on right now, so this recording should be super clean. And of course, I am Aegis. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what you see here. With me today is a Zinger XPN. Hello. And over here in our bottom corner, we have So You, our pink Protoss player. He's going to be playing against Isis, our red Terran player. This is Shakuras Plateau. Yeah, so it is claw spawn, which allows the Protoss player to be more flexible in terms of their build order. Um, Hero, yesterday I believe, has been showing the counter 1-1-1 for the Terran build style by doing the Protoss version of the 1-1-1, which just means that you get a gateway, um, a robo, and a stargate. And he's been making that work, so we'll see if Soyu decides to opt for something like that, or if he wants to play standard and get maybe two gateways with stalker aggression and then expand, we'll, we'll have to see. Yeah. Those, those games from Hero were very impressive, but even more impressive was actually the game, the games I saw between White Raw and Cloud. Um, and I've always known Cloud as a pretty solid player, but White Raw showed Cloud what it meant to play macro. Like, yeah. that was not even close. Cloud is a former Warcraft 3 player, and he's, he's been known to show results. I, I think he's pretty young, young but... The thing about Cloud is sometimes he's playing at a near code S level and sometimes he's playing at what would I what I would consider like a platinum North American server player. He's very inconsistent and players know that. And yesterday he was playing extremely well or during the Dream Hack invitational. Yeah. But he he played well, but White Rod just totally smashed his face in. Like, yeah, White Rod's just like tactics. No. <laughs> and like it wasn't yeah, it was just so it was so cool to see. I was just didn't know Terran versus Protoss could look like that. I guess. Um, yeah. yeah. Both players doing pretty normal things right now. Um, let's suffer this tech lab. Yeah, yeah I think, think that Mike is or, or Isis, Isis is going for a Reaper expand build, yeah. just because he's, he's not throwing down that second barracks for the, the two SCV Marauder, Marauder, Marauder concussive push. shell push. Oh, there's or the there, yeah, yeah. concussive shell. Where is he gonna put his second barracks? He may be doing it now. Um, not sure. I think he's trying to get rid of this probe first, but there's no way to do it without a marine. And uh, yeah, so you does see the tech lab researching, so he knows what's coming. Yeah, I yeah. I don't know, know if Ice is gonna commit to this just because the tech has, has already been revealed. revealed. Uh, so you is most likely gonna get a sentry next for his gateway because that's the that's really the only way to effectively stop this build. There's gonna be a command center right now, so it's a marauder expand. There it is coming down. Yeah, so, yeah, so there's just, just a bit of meta game occurring where Isis showed so you the tech, and sure enough, so you is getting that sentry. Um, and then he's just expanding behind it because so you is gonna be preparing for an early attack. Nothing's, Nothing's gonna, gonna happen. He's gonna overproduce over units and not workers. workers. And he's gonna be behind economically because he committed too hard. Yeah, I think uh, Soyuz's response should be actually to not stop making workers. Um, go up to two or three gateways and then try to poke in to see what's going on. Um, I'd really like to see that. He's getting up his second and third gateways right now. Is that probe walled in? That would be a really sad probe if that happened. Um, so you getting out his sentry, it's going to gain, gain some energy, and within the next uh, like 20-ish seconds, if he doesn't see the attack, he's going to know that uh, Isis has expanded. Yeah. yeah. Isis, Isis is following this up with two more gateways. gateways. Um, I think he's just going to stick with his go-to go style, style, which is kind of similar, similar to select or, or uh, MMA, MMA, which is which just, is just being abusive with um, Medivacs and bio units. bio units. You know what? I think Soyu is going to be going for a one base bust. Um, he's getting immortals out right now. He's not gone for that observer. He's got his three gateways up, and an immortal bust um, can be extremely good if Isis does not have m greater than three bunkers. Um, so this could be highly effective. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So you, I've never, I've never really seen, seen him apply, apply aggression. I, I've first, seen this first. from him before, so I think okay. this is okay. it. He's getting a second immortal. He's gonna push when he has three, and just warp in. Um, he has his proxy pylon out somewhere. He's try he's gonna get it soon. Um, Okay, so, second immortal, second immortal almost, finishing. almost finishing. Um, should be starting a third in just a second. He's hiding those immortals very well, and he's shown a bunch of sentries, so Isis thinks he's going 3-gate expand. Um, and he has, a, he has a warp prism, so this is actually new. He's going to be dropping immortals. Um, Isis is getting up a missile turret right now. I guess he saw too few sentries and decided that uh, so you might be going for some sort of DT. Yeah, so, yeah, so a quick way for any player, any player really to know what's up, what's up with the Protoss player. player. This is, a, this is a, just a simple tactic that Idra said on his stream. You, you basically, basically check frequently on how many sentries that a Protoss player has, check the in-game game timer, basically, and basically the, the, the number of sentries should match, should match up with the minute mark, mark of, the of the game timer if they're, if they're spending all their gas on sentries. If not, then they're up to something else and they're spending their gas on a different tech branch. That's That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's an easy way to see if hey look, hey, look are, they it, are they going DTs, are they, they going Stargate tech, tech, and if you see, if you the, see the number of sentries, then you you can put, you can put a finger on whether or not you should prepare for any, prepare for any kind of variation, like variation like of this. Um, actually, Day Nine and Idra had an argument about this over state of the game at one point. I guess Idra eventually figured out what Day Nine was talking about, because. Um, that that was that's actually the last person I'd imagine to actually say that. Um, but knowing Idra, he's a pretty good player. He would have figured out eventually, uh, even without Day Nine arguing with him about that one. Um, it was one of the state of the games. I actually don't remember what number, so I can't point you to whichever yeah. one it is. Yeah, I, 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 do I do think that I know what state of the game you're talking about. about. I, I obviously can't put a finger on the exact number, exact but. Number, but um, um, yeah, Idra, Idra tends, to, tends complain, to complain, but yeah. then, but he, then goes he goes on to win major, major tournaments. So, yeah, so he, takes, I would, he complains, but when people like argue with him, he takes it to heart. So that's one good thing about Idra. Um, yeah, two, so we're two, yeah, so we're missing the two immortal drops, drops oh, going on in the back of the uh, in the back of ITC's uh, main. Uh, um, I don't think I don't think major damage, major damage has been done. Uh, Isis no is workers severely have supply blocked, and the two immortals do survive, which is something great for Soyu. Um, however, it's going to be difficult to get them out of that position, and Isis is going to be forced to keep his entire army back. And actually, Isis has overstimmed. Yeah, it's yeah, it's really important. To really important that, to know that like like ninety percent of all this bio ball is currently is below, currently below half health. Yeah, and uh, Soyu is coming through the front. He does pick off an immortal. Uh, Isis sees this coming. I don't know. <laughs> and he's still got these two immortals in the backside that can do major damage if necessary. Yeah, if yeah, if well, those turrets, well, those are, turrets most likely are most likely going to be able to stop all kind, stop all of, kind of mortal harass from, from this point on. on. But as I say that, there so you goes. There, so you goes. I, I, like that that's, I like that a lot. He's he's doing a two pronged, doing a two -pronged attack. attack. He's forcing the but Isis, army from running in, and he's going to force heal the ramp. Does he? No, he does not get the force heal on the ramp. If he got that force heal on the ramp, this natural expansion would have been toasted. Um, but it looks like the two immortals continue to pound away in here. Looks like they will be able to uh, scoot into the back and maybe target down a couple more SCVs. The Marines stimming again. Ooh. The sentries the were leading the charge, and that's not what you want to do as a Protoss player. The sentry should be in the back with Guardian Shields and Force Fields when necessary, and Zealot should be taking the meat of the damage. But in that engagement, so you unfortunately had sentries in the front. Yeah, and now Isis. Has medivacs, and that means the Terran army 